Hello everyone, it's Jeremy for Tactical Talks and today's part 2 of our uh, camera movement through a 2D image tutorial. So in the previous step we've looked at a very um, simple um, uh, procedure process inside of Photoshop basically creating planes uh, in our 2D image and then exporting as a .vpe. Now we'll actually get this VPE and insert it into After Effects to make it look uh, like a 3D object, really like a 3D environment, and move the camera through it. So, very simply, just go to File, Import, Vanishing Point.vpe, and we have our street export. Click on OK. Now, double click on the composition. So, now let's look at what we have. We have a solids folder, which has some null objects. We have a street export.vpe folder, which has all of our layers. Uh, not layers, all our um, well, images, basically our planes, and we have a composition which uh, double click and opens it up. Now, right now it looks very messy, very, very, very messy. You see what it is. Now, in all composition, all VP compositions, there is a camera, a parent, and then all your planes. Now, the parent one is very, very uh, important. It's actually the one we're going to use to manipulate everything. Now this one we're actually going to be selecting uh, the parents. Go to your move tool, regular section tool. Click on the Y and bring it down, like so. Okay, so it looks a bit nicer. Let's move, let's uh, zoom in just a little bit. And you see it does look a bit nice. Look, does look okay. But our problem is that black here. Okay, how did black come here? Well, sometimes exporting, if, especially if you have uh, overlapping um, uh, planes, this will happen. So you just select the image and just move it over and make it look and actually make it fit. Inside the composition itself. Right there. So now if we take our camera and we take our uh, track Z and let's bring it you can see we can actually travel through that's not a good thing to use the camera orbit tool because it's very very uh, difficult to actually center it so control Z and use this one it's better this can really kind of move around now not too much because as you can see Right there, it doesn't look so good. So you can take our remove tool and kind of move it up as well and make it fit. And make it as nice as possible. And here we go. We have a camera moving through a 2D object. It's nicer than just uh, resizing the object itself. And you can add some animation to this, to this and uh, well, don't go too far as you see, black area. Uh, no, not on this one. It's really difficult to actually get a nice uh, out of the box. Really, when you just import it, it's really hard to get a nice one. So you need to adjust depending on what you're doing. So it's not a really simple, very simple step. It takes a bit of time, but um, after all, it's pretty nice for just the. Uh, to a couple minutes it took well, it's a couple of minutes. Uh, it took just about five minutes to actually build this. So I mean, it's pretty nice. It's pretty cool, right? So I'm Jeremy for Techful Tuts, and I'll see you guys next time for some other technology-related tutorials or just really a video tools, reviews, and more from Techful Tuts. See you guys later. Bye.